Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and it's time to look at the Pokemon I am bringing to the Ultra Spooky Cup. So the first Pokemon we're going to be bringing is the Pokemon I think is going to be on most everybody's team in this competition. That's going to be Marshadow. So the reason I think Marshadow is going to be very, very popular is because there's a lot of ghost types, a lot of dark types, and since Marshadow is a fighting ghost type Pokemon, this thing can hit both pretty hard. The thing to keep in mind though is it's not going to be the bulkiest Pokemon, um, so... A lot of other Pokemon are going to be able to do a lot of damage to you, especially other Marsh Shadows with Shadow Sneak. Um, that's something you'll have to keep in mind. Mine's going to be running a Choice Band item. Um, that way we'll get a little bit more punch um, behind our little ghost friend here. Um, we're going to be running Shadow Sneak, um, Close Combat, Poison Jab, and Spectral Thief. Um, Shadow Sneak's there for hopefully, you know, outspeeding things that we know for a fact are faster than us and hopefully we can take them out. Um, plus, we get Technician Boost from that Shadow Sneak, so that's also very good. Close Combat, a really good stab fighting move. Um, Spectral Thief is a move that I think most Marshadow should have. Um, it steals the opposing Pokemon stat boost, and it does a lot of damage. Um, Poison Jab is going to be here because there's quite a few fairy types running around. I think it would be good to have at least some sort of um, Poison type move to take care of those. Um, we're going to be running a jolly natured Marshadow, that way we can outspeed hopefully other Marshadows. Um, so yeah, I do think a lot of Marshadows are going to be running the Sash. However, ours are going to be running the Band, and I'm hoping that that works out for us. So next up is going to be the Pokemon I actually think is going to be the number two most used Pokemon in this competition, and that's going to be Darkrai. Um, so, it's actually really cool that there's two mythical Pokemon that you can bring in this competition. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of those, I think. Um, my Darkrai is going to be a timid set, that way we can outspeed certain things. Um, and we're going to be running um, a Wide Lens set. The Wide Lens is supposed to help our hypnosis. It, it doesn't help too much, but um, there's a small chance that it could help. And that's the main thing I want to do with my Darkrai. Put things to sleep. Um, and we have Dream Eater. And the main reason I've got Dream Eater and Hypnosis on this thing is because um, Toxapex is a huge, bulky Pokemon in this competition. And if I could put it to sleep and then eat its dreams, um, it's going to be doing a lot of damage um, to Toxapex. And we can get some health back onto our Darkrai with that. Um, so that's the main reason I'm going to be doing that. Um, plus, if we put things to sleep, our Bad Dreams ability will activate and start whittling down health. Um, the other move that we're going to be running is Dark Pulse. Tar Dark Pulse is a really good move, um, especially on your Dark Right. It's going to be doing a lot of damage. And the last move is going to actually be Ice Beam. Um, when I was trying out different Pokemon, I noticed there's quite a few um, ground types running around too. Mainly Gliscor. Um, there's a lot of those. Crocodile as well is very common. Um, so we're going to be running Ice Beam for those Pokemon. Next up is going to be the Pokemon I actually think is going to be number three. Um, so far, I've went through the top three Pokemon I think is going to be in this competition, and number three is going to be Mimikyu. Um, Mimikyu is a solid Pokemon here as well. Um, since there's so many dark types, it's good to have a fairy type on your team, and Mimikyu is honestly what I think is the best fairy type in this competition. Of course, there's some others that could do some work. Um, Mawile, Granbull, um, Slurpuff, I was trying out Slurpuff for a while, but um, Mimikyu is honestly a really solid Pokemon in this competition. Um, it gets Shadow Sneak, so that way you can, like, you know, um, try to hit things that you know are faster than you, um, especially when you're you're sure that um, Mimikyu is not going to be able to survive a hit any other way. Um, so my Mimikyu is going to be running the Rocky Helmet. That way, um, contact moves are going to actually hurt my opponent, and hopefully that comes in handy for us. Um, I'm I, I was trying to debate whether to keep that item or not, but I think it might help out in certain situations. Um, like I said, Shadow Sneak is going to be one of our moves. Play Rough as well, Shadow Claw, and then the fourth move is actually going to be Destiny Bond. And I think this move might come in handy quite a few times, especially if I'm pretty sure my opponent will take me out the next turn, or is about to take me out in the turn that we're in. Um, I can go Destiny Bond and try to put some pressure on my opponent that way. Um, and if my opponent has a huge threatening Pokemon that can take out the other remaining Pokemon I have, hopefully Mimikyu will take one for the team and, you know, take down the opponent with it. 
So now we're going to look at Aerodactyl. I'm going to bring Aerodactyl because I really need something good for Marsh Shadow. Um, like I said, Marsh Shadow is going to be the number one used Pokemon in this competition. I mark my words, that's going to be the number one. So I need a good answer for that. Of course, Toxapex is a solid answer um, for Marsh Shadow, but I want to bring something more offensive. Um, so we're going to bring Aerodactyl. This thing has a 130 speed. That's actually faster than Marsh Shadow. The only thing Marsh Shadow can really do is Shadow Sneak us. And hopefully we can, you know, live those. We, we can live quite a few of those, actually. Um, but anyway, um, Aerodactyl here. We're going to be bringing the Flynium Z. Um, that can take care of Marsh Shadow. That takes care of a lot of bug types that have actually been popping up lately in the competition. Um, we're going to be using Fly to power up the Flynium Z. Stone Edge, because that hits bug types pretty well too. Sky Drop, that's a pretty good move. Uh, we can lift things into the air and, you know, take it down the next turn. Of course, um, Aerodactyl really doesn't have the best flying type moves, but uh, Sky Drop should do pretty well for us. And Earthquake. Earthquake's mainly there if we need it. Um, it's our only option to actually put some sort of damage on Toxapex with Aerodactyl. Um, so, yeah, if Toxapex is there, we're going to try to Earthquake it and hopefully take it out. Um, so yeah, this thing is very fast. It hits hard. I really think Aerodactyl should do pretty well in this competition. So at this point, I realize I've started putting more and more physical attackers on my team. We got Marshadow, Aerodactyl, Mimikyu. We need some more special attackers, so um, that's what we're going to do. Bring in Galvantula. And Galvantula is a really good Pokemon in this. Um, I need something for Toxpex. That's where Galvantula comes in. Um, Sticky Web's going to be really good. That way, I, I'm for certain I can win the speed ties um, if I can lower the opponent's speed. Um, we're going to be bringing a Sash set too. That way, if we need the Sticky Webs, we will be 100% sure that the Sticky Webs are up. Um, this thing will also have um, Bug Buzz. That's pretty good because there's a lot, a lot of Dark types running around. And it's good to hit those really hard. Um, Energy Ball is going to be here to give us some sort of option against ground types. Um, say like Crocodile, um, things like that. Even um, Rotom Wash that's been roaming around sometimes. We need something to hit that pretty hard too. And Thunder is going to be our main attacking move. And with Compound Eyes, um, Thunder will have more accuracy. And that's going to be our main option to take out Toxapex because Toxapex is a bulky, bulky Pokemon. We need to hit it as hard as we can to finish it off. And this Pokemon hopefully will do pretty good. Um, I've noticed a lot of people st started bringing bug types as um, I've been, you know, playing around on Showdown. And we need our own bug type. So Galvantula does that job very well. It's got the sticky web that I was really looking for in Slurpuff. Um, and I decided I don't need Slurpuff anymore. I've got Mimikyu. I'll just switch out Slurpuff for Galvantula because the only reason I had Slurpuff was for the sticky web. Um, so that's why Galvantula is going to be on my team. So now we're going to look at the last Pokemon I'm putting on my team, and that's actually going to be Umbreon. So up till this point, most of the Pokemon I've been putting on my team are actually m a little bit more on the frailer side. Um, so I need something that can, you know, take hits and actually do something in return, and that's where Umbreon comes in. Um, so Umbreon is going to be holding the leftovers, um, you know, because get some health back. Um, the ability is going to be, of course, synchronized because if my opponent tries to toxic me, it'll actually toxic back onto them. If they put me to sleep, um, their Pokemon will go to sleep. Um, so synchronize is actually really good in that. Um, the nature is actually going to be impish because there's a lot of physical attackers running around. I feel like there's more physical attackers um, being used than special attackers. Of course, sometimes you'll see a, like a Volcarona um, coming around, you know, and... Darkrai, but I feel like there's more and more physical attackers, so um, that's why we're going to put more investment in that defense, and plus, um, Umbreon already has good natural special defense. We don't need to put too much in that, um, so yeah, that's why we're going with that. Move-wise, um, we're going to be bringing Wish and Protect so we can stall things out. Toxic. Toxic will be very good, especially against, say, a Mimikyu. Um, we can Toxic it and not have to worry about the Disguise, let it slowly whittle its health down. And, and actually, Umbreon has been shown to be able to take play roughs from Mimikyu. Um, I've been trying this out on Showdown, and it actually takes um, play roughs pretty well, actually, surprisingly. Um, and originally, I was going to try to use Baby Doll Eyes. Um, that way, I can lower the opponent's attack. But since it seems like more of the opponents have been bringing Swords Dance as their setup move, 
Um, it, it doesn't really make sense because eventually they're going to win out on that, you know, setting up. Um, so instead, we're going to switch that out for Foul Play. Um, foul Play does some nice damage, especially if your opponent's trying to set up with Swords Dances. Um, so that way we can hit things. Of course, there's quite a few ghosts. It'll be really good to hit those as well. Um, and say someone tries to bring, um, you know, something that wants to set up on you. Like a Scolipede with Swords Dance. You can actually hit back. Um, and with the Baby Doll I set I was trying out earlier, there's no offensive pressure with Umbreon. I was totally stalled out by Aegislash, which were running around Rampant too. Um, so Umbreon with Foul Play works a lot better. So that's going to be the team I'm bringing for the Ultra Spooky Cut. What Pokemon are you bringing? What do you think about my team? Do you think it would make a lot more sense bringing Toxapex instead of Aerodactyl? Um, go ahead, put in the comments what you think about the team. Um, and if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.